Thank you for tuning in to Everything Valves. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a 36 inch class 600 trunnion mounted ball valve. We're going to look at all the components that make up this valve and also the materials and maximum operating pressures. Let's jump right into it. Thank you for tuning in to Everything Valves, the channel dedicated to bringing you Everything Valves. If you enjoy the content, please support the channel by liking this video and subscribing. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get right into the video. So this is going to be a Forum PBV. It's got a 36 inch class 600. MLP right here or max operating pressure at minus 20 degrees is going to be 1480 psi and then over here is going to be the maximum operating pressure at 300 degrees fahrenheit and that goes down to 1310 psi this right here tells us it's a double block and bleed it's nace api 607 6fa fire safe looking at the material body material is going to be a105 dual certified lf2 ball stems carbon steel emp coated which emp stands for electroless nickel plating the seat on this valve is going to be devlon and it's going to have hnbr o-rings or seals let's see you can see this thing was assembled 11 02 2017 I can't really make out what that is. But right up here, you're going to have the actual factory's API 6D monogram number. So if you were to look up this number, you should find the person responsible for this valve. So to give a breakdown on this valve, up here at the top, you're going to have the gear. We'll look at that a little closer. It's going to be the gear right here. This is gonna be a reducer for the gear. This is gonna be a hand wheel. This is gonna be a three piece design. So here in the middle is gonna be the actual body. And then you have two adapters on each end. All of the bolting, you can see how big these bolts are here. Fairly large. This right here is gonna be the seat grease injector port. So there should be one over here on the other side as well this is where you would inject grease so because this valve is so big it's going to have four grease injector ports on each adapter so this side will have four one two come to the other side three and then four right there looking inside of the valve you can see this is going to be the ball here then down here you're going to have the actual seat ring where the teflon will be located at so if you look right here this is the actual seat sealing material this is what creates the seal this is going to be all grease here and trash and debris. If we look, this right here is probably going to be where the grease comes out. Can't really see it too well. That's where the grease will come out. Those ports are where all the grease will come out and then grease will come out there and then run down or run up. And then the same thing on that side, grease will just go all around the seat. So there should be a vent somewhere on the body. Ah, right there. That little port right here is the actual vent or bleed plug for the top. And then if we look down here at the bottom, that little one right there is the drain for the bottom of the valve. People put different fittings on them, valves, to make it easier to bleed off pressure. 
last right here is going to be a stem grease injector similar to the seat it injects grease or packing area of the stem i hope this video was helpful if you enjoyed the valve content please make sure you support the channel by liking the video if you have any ideas for future videos please make sure you comment down below Thank you for tuning in to Everything Valves, and we will see you in the next video.